All right, today we're doing a worksheet on um, graph of functions and graphical solution. Okay, so the question number one is the, the diagram shows the graph of the diagram shows the graph of y equals x upon two plus two upon x for x is between zero to eight. Part A, use the graph to solve this equation. x upon 2 plus 2 upon x is equals to 3. Now we need to solve this equation graphically. So notice that this left side of the equation equals this, which is equals to y. So we can simply write for part A that y equals 3. Now we need to solve this graphically, which means we need to sketch the line y equals 3. 3, which is this line and now read the points of intersection this is the first point of intersection roughly read out this value so the marking scheme says any value between 0.7 to 0.8 is acceptable so mine is looking a bit like 0.7 or 0.8 and the other solution is this here this is the point of intersection which is 5.4 for me which is acceptable according to the marking scheme answer. Okay, so the answer for part A is x equals 0 0.8 and x equals 5.4. Okay. Part B, by drawing a suitable tangent, work out an, an estimate of the gradient of the graph where x is equals to 1. Now, where is x is equals to 1? Here, this is the point x is equals to 1 draw a tangent on this point so tangent should only cut the graph at that point only at one so hopefully this tangent is only cutting the graph at this point now i need two points on the graph one will be the same where the tangent is where the tangent is touching the graph one comma when x is one what is the value of y i'll read the corresponding value of y here which is Roughly 2.4, again my answer will not be very exact because uh, I'm not, I haven't drawn a proper tangent using a scale. So one is this point and let's choose the other point. Let's say this is 0, comma, sorry, it's 2.6, comma 0, 2.6, comma 0. Now to find the gradient, I have the two points. Let me write them again over here. 1 is 1 comma 2.4 and the other one is 2.6 comma 0. To find slope, I will do y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So 2.4 minus 0 upon 1 minus 2.6. So what do I get? I am getting 2.4 divided by 1 minus 2.6 which is minus 1.5, which is an acceptable answer according to the range given in the marking scheme, minus 1.5. Okay, in the next question, the table shows some values of y equals 3 upon 10x cubed minus 2x, where x is between minus 3 and 3. Complete the table. I've already filled up the table. All you need to do is grab your calculators and substitute minus 3 instead of x here to get the value of y then minus 2 and so on okay so table is done in part b on the grid plot the graph for this so i've also um, marked the points first point is minus 3 comma minus 2.1 then minus 2 comma 1.6 then minus 1.5 comma 2 so i've made all these points and now i'll join them with a smooth curve so again, I'm making this with my hand, so it won't be as accurate, not very accurate, but let's see what we get. Passing through the origin, then here, can't really see the dots, okay. So roughly a figure like this. So this isn't very accurate, hope you don't make this mistake, but I can't really do much about that. Okay. So, on the grid, we've done with part B, part C. On the grid, opposite, draw a suitable line to solve this equation. Now, we need to draw a line to solve this equation. Okay. So, again, notice that the left-hand side here, 
3 upon 10 x cube minus 2x is the same as this, which is equals to y, which means this can be replaced with y. So now the equation is y equals half 1 minus x and we need to plot this line. So we'll take three values of x and three corresponding values of y. I will start with let's say x is 1. If x is 1, y is 0 because 1 minus 1 will become uh, 0. Then I'll take 2. No, I'll not, I won't take 2. I'll take 3 here. So when x is 3, then 1 minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 upon 2 is minus 1. So I'm trying to get integer values. That's why I didn't take 2. That would have given me minus half. So that would be harder to plot relatively. Okay, now I'll take, let's take minus 3. When x is minus 3, 1 minus minus 3 becomes 4. 4 upon 2 is 2. So now I'll plot these points. The first one is 1 comma 0. So it's here. The second one is uh, 3 comma minus 1. So it's here. 3 comma minus 1 here. Another one is minus 3 comma 2. So it's here. Now join these with a straight line. And we have the equation. We, we've drawn the line. And now we need to solve the line. So we need to solve this equation. So that means you need to see the point of intersection of the green line and the red line. So what are the points of intersection that we're getting? The first one is um, around 2. It says in the marking scheme any value between uh, minus 2.01 to minus 2.15 is acceptable. Again, my graphs are not very accurate, so that's why my answer is coming out to be minus 2. But should it should actually be between this. Okay, then my second answer is about around minus 1.5, which again should be uh, between minus 0.45 to minus 2. And then third answer is a little above 2, so it's says in the marking scheme it should be between 2.25 and 2.45. So these three value, the points of intersection would be the answer for part C. Part D. Uh, for minus 3 to 3, the equation 3 upon 10 x cubed minus 2x equals to 1 has n solution. Write down the value of n. So again, this left hand side can be replaced with y. So this is y, so y equals 1, plot y is equals to 1 and see how many solutions does this line have. So and how many places is this purple line cutting the red line? It's cutting at 3 points, 1, 2, 3, so it will have 3 solutions. So the answer for the last part is simply 3. Okay, and question number 3, again we first need to fill the table, done. And then we need to plot. In part B, we have to plot the graph. So I've already placed the points. Now I'll join these with a smooth curve. So here we go. Something like this. Not very accurate again. But a curve like this. Okay, done with part B. Part C, use your graph to solve this equation. All right. Now, how do we solve this equation graphically? This, uh, this side is actually equals to this side, which is equals to y. So, this means this is y equals 0. So, we'll plot the line y is equals to 0. y is equals to 0 is actually the x-axis. So, here's the x-axis. Now, read the point of intersection between the line and the curve. So, it's roughly around minus 2.2. Uh, 8 minus 2.8 or something. So the answer given is actually between 3 and minus 3.1 and 3.3. Okay, so because of plotting the curve on the computer, my I am a bit limited. So my answer is not very exact. It should have been between minus 3.1 to minus 3.3. So the curve it means exactly something like this. 
anyway so the answer for part a should part sorry we are part c should be between minus 3.3 and minus 3.1 okay because you would be reading the points of intersection between the original curve and the x-axis all right moving on by drawing a suitable line solve this equation okay now what is this equation again notice x cube plus 3x plus 2 this is equals to y so i replace these three expressions with y so i'm left with y plus 2x equals 0. now i need to plot this line so this line uh, make y the subject so i'm getting y is equals to minus 2x again i'll make a table and choose three values of x and three corresponding values of y so i'll choose 0 0 when x is 0 y is 0 when x is 1 y is minus 2 when x is let's say minus 1 y is 2 so i'll now plot these points 0 comma 0 uh, 1 comma minus uh, 1 comma minus 2 yes there is 1 and here is minus 2 and then minus 1 comma 2 this is minus 1 and this would be 2 join these with a straight line and extend it completely like this now read the points of intersection of the red graph and the purple line so what we're getting only one solution because it's cutting at only one point here read out this value mine is around 2.5 and the answer should be between minus 2.6 and minus 2.45. So the answer is minus 2.5 is actually correct. So my answer for this part is x equals minus 2.5. Okay, part E. For this domain, the equation x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2, which is again y. So the equation y equals k has three solution and k is an integer value write down the possible values of k so this is y equals k y equals k can be any horizontal line this line or this line or this line or this line now we need to choose such an integer value of k so that we have three solutions which means that the line the horizontal line should cut the red graph at three points like here so this is the line y is equals to k, y is equals to 5, so 5 is an acceptable answer. So is 4, I suppose if you take k equals 4, that is also cutting the red uh, curve at 3 points and so is 3. This is also cutting the curve at 3 points. What about 2? Now 2 would only cut at 2 points here and here so your answer k of k can be any value between 3 4 and 5 okay in the fourth question again i filled up the table first then we need to plot the points on the grid so i've also placed uh, the dots on the grid now i'll join them with a straight line but before i do that i'd like to quickly discuss these points because these are a bit tricky to plot so that's 0 0.15 where is 0 0.15 this is 0 and then this is 0 0.5 that means two boxes would be 0 0.1 so if this is 0 0.1 two boxes are 0 0.1 then another two boxes would be 0 0.2 so then three boxes would mean three boxes would mean 0 0.15 so you go three boxes from here and then you go to 3.3 .3. and where is 3.3 .3? this is 3 so two boxes above you'll have 3.1 two boxes above you'll have 3.2 and then another two boxes above you'll have 3.3 .3. So that's how you plot all of these points then join them with a smooth curve can't really see what i'm doing no i've missed a point so something like this yes okay I've missed a point here as well but i'll just ignore that okay so part b is done part c use your graph to solve this equation again this is equals to this which is equals to y so this line is simply y equals half now plot the line y equals half which is going to be a horizontal line at half so let me change the color this is the line y equals half now to solve this equation we simply need to find the points of intersection of these two lines 
so i am getting around 0. 0.6 0. 0.7 0. 0.8 around 0. 0.8 and yes that's acceptable answer according to the marking scheme so my value of x is 0. 0.8 which is acceptable okay then d part 1 on the grid draw this line y is equals to minus x plus 2 now you could use the table method to draw this or if you know that the line y is equals to minus x is actually this line and y is equals to minus x is this line and then there's a plus 2 with that which means there's a translation of sorry this is minus x plus 2 means move this line 2 units up there's a translation of 2 units on the y axis so this would become 2 and this would become 2 as well so if you just join these lines at 2 and 2 you will get the line y is equals to 2 minus x so that's what i'll do instead of making the table first and then taking three values of x and three corresponding values of y and then plotting those three values and then joining them with the straight line so this is what the line y is equals to minus x plus 2 looks like okay write down the x coordinates of the point where these two lines crosses the graph where this line crosses the graph of this line so they're asking for the line of the points of intersection of the purple graph and the red graph so where do they meet so they're meeting at uh, they're meeting this is one point of intersection and this is the other point of intersection read out uh, read the corresponding values of x so the first one is coming out to be 0 0.1 0 0.2 a little bit before 0 0.3 so i'll write 0 0.28 or 27 which are both acceptable 0 0.28 so this is allowed this is an allowed answer and what about this it's a bit before this looks like 2.4 to me but it says 2.39 so be careful while you're reading the values from the graph they need to be the exact reading okay so these two are the answers i got 0 0.28 and i got 2.4 but the actual answer is 2.39 okay part e show that the graph of this can be used to find the value of under root 2. Okay, reading part E again which is says show that the graph of y equals 1 over 2x minus x upon 4 which is the red graph we've already drawn can be used to find the value of under root 2 for x is between 0.15 to 3.5. Okay, so for this uh, all we need to do is substitute the value of x uh, equals under root 2 in this given equation. So, let's see what do we get when we do that. Okay, let's see we have y equal 1 upon 2 under root 2 minus under root 2 upon 4. What will my calculator give me when I enter this in my calculator? Okay, so the calculator says the answer is 0. So, y equals 0. Where is this line? This is the x-axis. So, if I make a line on the x-axis, I can see that this line, y is equals to 0, and the red line is uh, the orange line and the red line, they're intersecting at this point, and this point is the proximate value of under root 2. So, under root 2, according to my point of intersection, is equals to around 1.4. So, that's how you show that this graph can be used to find the value of under root 2. Okay, the next question is a bit related to the topic functions. So, but it's merged with this current topic, so we'll do that. Okay, so the diagram shows the graph of y equals fx, where fx equals x square minus 2 upon x minus 2. Use the graph to find f1. So, simply for f1, all we need to do is in fx, instead of x, substitute 1. So, we get 1 square minus 2 upon 1 minus 2, which should give us minus 3. Okay, this is the answer for f1. Now, how do we find f f minus 2? Okay, so part A, part 2, we have to find f, f 
minus 2. For this, we first find f minus 2. f minus 2 is simply will be found by substituting minus 2 instead of x. So, minus 2 whole square minus 2 upon x minus 2. Oh, no, 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 no. The question says use the graph. I did not read that. Okay. So, going back, the we have the graph of fx where fx equals to this. Use your graph to find f1. Now, if in f1, 1 is actually x. So, when x is 1, what is the value of y? We can read the value of y from here, which is coming out to be minus 3 exactly. So, this is going to be minus 3. So, the answer for part 1 is minus 3. Next up is f, f minus 2. So, first we need to find f minus 2. And in f minus 2, x is minus 2. So, what is the answer when x is minus 2? When x is minus 2, our answer is our answer is 3. So, f minus 2 is actually 3. So, f minus when f we substitute minus 2 instead of x, we get 3 from the graph. So, now find the value of f3. So, what is the value of f3? Go to 3 and read out the value of the x. So, it's around 6.2 to 6.4 according to the marking scheme and that's our answer as well. It's 6.2 for me. So, 6.2 is the correct answer. Okay, part B. On the grid opposite, draw a suitable straight line to solve this equation. Okay. Now, the left hand side, this is equals to this, right? So, what I can do here is instead of this, I can substitute fx plus 2 because this would be fx plus 2 equals to the whole orange term. fx plus 2 equals to the orange term. So, I here the I'll replace the orange circle with fx plus 2. So, I'm getting fx plus 2 minus 7 equals minus 3x and which is actually fx equals minus 3x plus 5. Okay. And we also know fx is equals to y. So, this equation becomes y equals minus 3x plus 5. So, now we have to draw this equation on the curve. So, I will take three values of x and corresponding three values of y. So, I will take x0. That will give me y5. When I take x1, that will give me y2. When I take x minus 1, this will give me 5, 6, 7, 8. So, now I will plot these points. 0, 5 is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. 1 comma 2 is here and then minus 1 comma 8 is here. Join these with a straight line. So, we get a line like this. Extend it completely throughout your graph. Okay, so we have the line. Now, what do we do? By drawing the suitable, uh, no, on the grid opposite, draw a suitable straight line to solve this equation. We also have to solve this equation. So, where is this orange line cutting our original curve? It's cutting here, which is around minus 0 0.3, which is an acceptable answer. And this one, this is around 1.7. You need to read exact value. I am saying around because I am unable to read these small grids. You should be exactly able to tell what's your answer. So, 1.7 is an acceptable answer as well. Part C. By drawing the suitable tangent, find an estimate of the gradient of the curve at x equals minus 2. So, where is x minus 2? Right here and we will plot a tangent here. So, make sure your tangent is touching the graph at only that particular point at only minus 2. Where is minus 2 exactly again? Here and here I'll draw a tangent. 
again my tangent will not be very exact because I'm not using the scale etc so if this is the tangent now I need two points on this tangent one point can be uh, the same point minus 2 comma what's the value of y here minus 2 comma this is around 3 1 2 3 4 5 yes it's exactly 3 so minus 2 comma 3 and I'll read this value as well this is x is uh, negative 1.2 and y is 0 now using these two points I'll use the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 is uh, 3 minus 0 upon minus 2 minus 1.2 which is giving me 3 divided by minus 2 minus 1.2 which is giving me minus 0.9 as the gradient. This was part C. What is the answer for part C? Oh sorry this would be plus because minus minus would be plus. It's minus 2 and then again minus uh, 1.2 so that would make plus and the answer is coming out to be nine, minus 3.75 okay next part okay now to part D part D says that uh, by drawing the suitable tangent find an uh, sorry part D says complete this table for gx equals to 2 minus x so we'll quickly complete the table and then draw the grid for part 2 as well. Okay, so by substituting the values of x here, I fill up the table. First x is minus 3, then minus 2 and so on. Fill up the table, made the dots on the grid and join the grid. Now the last part says use your graph to find the positive solution of this equation. So where are the two graphs intersecting? Here and here. Where is the positive values of x? Here. And what's the answer here? It's almost 1.8. So 1.8 is an acceptable answer. Okay, in the next question, again, I filled up the table beforehand. All you need to do is substitute these values of x inside this equation and get the um, required value of y. For example, when we substitute minus 1 here instead of x, your calculator will give you 3.5. For 0.2, it will give you 15. For 3, uh, for 3, it will give you 3.9. So, you fill up the table, then you plot these points on the grid and then you join them with this straight smooth line. How this question is different from the other ones is that there is a discontinuity here. There is a discontinuity here and these are two separate graphs. So you need to draw them separately. Do not try to join them. So the first curve looks a bit like this roughly and the next one is being connected till the top. So this is the first curve. And then the second curve would look something like this. Again, it's not very neat because I'm just using my fingers to join the points. So here it is. So roughly two sketches like this. Again, there are two individual graphs. Do not uh, join them like this. That would be completely wrong and you would lose marks. So there's a discontinuity here. So the, um, consider them as two separate graphs. Okay. So we're done with part A, we're done with part B, part C. Use your graph to solve this. Now, the left-hand side from the original equation, I've created a lot of mess, I doubt you can see. So this is equals to Y. So replace this with Y is less than equal to 0. Now let's read the question again. Use your graph to solve Y is less than 0. So where is Y less than 0? Y is less than 0 below this line this is the line y is equals to 0 below this line y is less than 0 so what are the values of x in this range here the value of x is um, around 0 0.6 yes this is 0 0.6 and here the value of x is 1.3 something no it's 
1.12356. It should be around 1.6. Mine looks a little far off, but we'll just consider it 1.6 because I'm reading the marking scheme simultaneously. So it shouldn't go beyond 1.6. So probably my graph isn't very accurate. Probably, yeah, it's definitely not accurate. Okay. So the values of x in this range are between 0, 0.6 and 1.6. So the answer, let me just write the answer over here. So x is between 1.0.6 and 1.6, including these values. So we include the equality sign. Okay, this was part C. Part D, find the smallest positive integer value of k for which this has two solutions. Okay, so again, this is simply y. Replace it with y. So this becomes y equals k. y equals k is a horizontal line. So where do I make a horizontal line so that I get three solutions here? Here I'll get, I'm getting three solutions. This one this one this one solution means points of intersection and also above this line oh here i'm also getting three solutions so here here and here so what's the question again the question says uh, find the smallest positive positive integer value of k for which this y is equals to k has, sorry, it says two solutions, not three solutions. So for two solutions, we'll have to either look at, just a second, okay. Find the smallest post positive integer value of k for which y is equals to k has two solutions. So quickly let me just, okay, it's not letting me clear the screen why is that okay here it is okay so we need to uh, see where the uh, horizontal line and the red graph are cutting at two points and we're looking for the minimum value of k so here the graph is cutting at two points yes here the graphs are cutting at two point here the graphs are cutting at two point also here the graphs are cutting at two points, two points, also here. So in all these vertical horizontal lines, where is the smallest integer value of k? Smallest positive integer value of k. So the smallest is somewhere here, right? It can't be zero. It can't be zero because it says positive and zero is not considered as a positive number. So the next integer value is this one. So when k is equals to 1, which means when y is equals to 1, the orange line, the horizontal line, and the red line, they have two solutions. So the answer over here is y equals 1. So the answer, this was k. So the answer is y equals 1, which is, sorry, k equals 1. So we're finding the value of k. So k equals 1. Okay, the next part is by drawing a suitable line, solve this. Okay, so again, this is actually equals to y. So I'll rephrase it as y equals 3x. Now I need to plot this line y equals to 3x. So I'll take three boxes. I'll make a table, take three values of x and three values of y. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 6. Let's quickly plot these 0, 0. 1, 3 is here and 2, 6 is here. Okay. So this, that's the straight line. It isn't looking very straight. But okay, let me draw. Here is 0, 0. Yes. So this is the line y equals 3x. Oh, it was plus 1 as well. So I'll have to redraw this. I did not read plus 1. So it's 3x plus 1. So when x is 0, y would be 1. When x is 2, y would be 6 plus 1, 7. And when x is 3, y would be 
3 times 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. Okay, so when x is 0, y is 1, 0, 1, that's the first point. Then when x is 2, y is 7, 2, 7. 2, 7 is here. And then 3, 10. That's 3 and where is 10? 10 is here. So that's the line. Now join it with a straight line. Join the three points with a straight line and we have our equation of the line y is equals to 3x plus 1. We also need to solve this. Solving means finding the values of x which means read the point of intersection of the orange line and the red line. So this point of intersection is uh, this is 0 0.3 and yes 0 0.3 is an acceptable answer so 0 0.3 okay next what do we have to do for part uh, 2 the equation x square upon 2 plus 1 upon x square minus 2 upon x equals to 3x plus 1 can be written in this form find the values of abc so now it's just algebra so i clear the screen so that i have some space to write. I'll just write here on the graph since there's no space. Okay, so I have to change the left side of the equation which is x squared upon 2 plus 1 upon x squared minus 2 upon x equals 3x plus 1. Rearrange this in this form and then find the values of a, B, and C. Okay, so first I'll take the LCM here, which is going to be 2x square. So this will become x power 4 plus uh, this will become 2. This will become times 2x. So this will become minus 4x equals 3x plus 1. Okay, now I'll cross multiply. So this becomes x power 4 minus 2 minus 4x equals 6x power 3 plus 2x square. Now I'll rearrange x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 4x minus 2. Sorry, this was plus 2, not minus 2. This is plus 2, this is plus 2. Equals to 0. So now what is the value of a? a is the coefficient of x cube. My coefficient of x cube is minus 6. So a is minus 6. b is the coefficient of x square. My coefficient is minus 2. So b is minus 2. And then c is the coefficient of x. Mine is coming out to be minus 4. So these are the answers. Okay, for the next question, I've filled up the table. And then I've plotted the graph as well. So part a and b is done. Part c, use your graph to solve this equation. The left hand side is actually equals to this which is equals to y so this changes to y equals to 0 so let me read the question again use your graph to solve the equation y is equals to 0 so when y is equals to 0 this is y is equals to 0 which is the x-axis simply read out the points of intersection between the green graph and the red graph so we're getting a minus 2.9 which is one of the answers then we're getting a 0, which is one of the answers. And then we're getting 1.12, around 7, 1.7. So this is 1.7. So these are the two, three solutions of part C. Okay. Part D, by drawing a suitable tangent, find an estimate of the gradient of the curve at x is equals to 2. So on at x is equals to 2, draw a tangent first. So here is x. 2, draw a tangent over here. The tangent should only cross the curve at, cut the curve at this point only. So I'll try to make a rough tangent. Can't be very accurate because I'm not using a proper scale and a proper graph pad. Okay. So here's the very rough looking tangent. Now I need two points on this tangent. One of the points is exact known, which is 2, comma. Two. I already know this point on the tangent. I need another point on the tangent. I will use the one on the x-axis. So on the x-axis, y is 0. 
So here y is 0. And then what's the value of x? It looks like 1.9. So let's take 1.9. Now I'll use the formula for gradient to find the slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have to do 2 minus 0 upon 2 minus 1.9. So the answer would be, I'm getting 20, but it says it should be between 10 and 14. So my answer isn't very accurate since I haven't used, I haven't made a proper graph. I've just made a very rough graph. Okay, part E. Okay, so in part E, what do we have to do? Write down the largest value of k so that this equation has three solutions. Okay, so this is again just y from the very first equation. So this is y is equals to k. Again, y is equals to k is a horizontal line. So we're looking for a horizontal line which gives three solutions. So write down the largest value of k so that this equation has three solutions. So if I make a horizontal line over here, this just has one solution. So no, this isn't the horizontal line. This has one solution as well. This has three solutions. This has three solutions. Till here, we'll have three solutions. So yes, till here almost. Above this, we'll have three solutions. The question says find out the largest integer value of k so that we have three solutions. So here's five. After five, this two boxes above is six. So yeah, I think 6 is the highest value, horizontal line where we're getting three solutions. First solution, point of intersection, second point of intersection, and third point of intersection. So the answer is k equals 